Hey everybody, welcome back to the 3D Printing Corner. So I need to apologize to you guys. It has been quite a while since I posted a new video and I want to explain. Um, my wife and I are actually new foster parents and we had our first placement during the last few months and so that kind of slowed things down a little bit. Uh, some priorities changed and some of my videos happen to have fallen off of priority. But I'm back. Um, we don't currently have a placement right now. So uh, I'm here to give you guys some more new content. Alright, so like I said, I am Jason. This is the 3D Printing Corner. Um, the last thing you guys saw from me was this uh, Odin MK1M here, which is still a pre-production unit. Uh, I'm told that they're going to release that very soon. Uh, but that's what the testing for today's video was done. So, those of you that remember, um, I did a review of a company called PX Malian and their uh, relatively cheap filament. And I hated this stuff. It was terrible. They reached out to me and they said, we've changed our formula, we understand that it wasn't terribly good, but here, we're going to send you some new ones, please try these and do a re-review. So that's what they did. They sent me this one and they sent me this one. This one here is actually uh, their flexible filament, which I've never tried before, so it'll be interesting to try that one when I get to it. But I wanted to start with their PLA. So I'm not going to cover how it's packaged and everything. It's packaged exactly the same way as the last one was. If you want to see that video, look up and uh, I'll, I'll link it in there. Um, they sent me a very similar green color that they had sent me before. Um, pretty standard spool. Everything's normal on that. What changed was the quality of those prints. Like I said, I printed them all here on the Odin MK1M. Um, just because I've been wanting to play with that one and get the uh, makers of that as much info as I can about it. So I went ahead and ran my tests on it. Um, I didn't run a ton of tests, but I ran enough to, I think, get a pretty good idea. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to move us down to the table here and we will uh, take a look at the few prints that we've got. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the prints. So the first one I ran was the obligatory Marvin, um, just to kind of look and see how it's uh, doing. And you can see even between his legs, it's very nice uh, bridging. And I have run this stuff before on this particular printer. And I had the same issues I had on my other printer that I do my testing on. Um, so I'm not surprised. I was surprised to see that this did uh, do a lot better job. Um, I also really like this color. I don't know why. It's kind of a bright green. I don't know if the camera is doing it justice. But it's got a nice shine to it. Um, not a ton of layer lines. And it uh, looks pretty good. You can see you got a little bit of droop there by his, uh, I guess that's his ear. Uh, same thing on the other side. But that's to be expected. This is actually, I mean, it looks simple, but this is actually a pretty tough print because it's got some spots where it has to print in nothing. So then I moved on and we printed this frog here. Again, he's another one that's kind of tough. Um, a lot of times you get sagging through here. Nothing. Um, looks really good. It's a little stringier than your average but uh, you know that's that's it's good look at it I mean the first layer looks gorgeous everything about him looks like you would expect it to so I went ahead and moved on to everybody's favorite octopus um, you can see his fingers there actually look pretty good again some stringing but I will take stringing uh, a little bit of a just a blow dryer over him and it heats it up enough that those strings are gone um, and I could probably tune that out a little bit more too but he looks really good, nice and shiny. Everything turned out great. Everybody that knows me knows this is one of my favorite test prints. Um, you can see his swords turned out very nicely. Um, nothing, you know, the layer lines, you have to look really close and you can kind of start to see the layer lines. But otherwise, he looks really good. And then I went ahead and went with the rook. So this is the rook that has the helix inside. And if you look in there, you can see the helix is actually perfect in there. The staircase looks great. The details on the side look good. Um, first layer looks good. A little bit in here that's some issue, but I mean, that's, that's a pretty long bridge, so I'm not worried about that. Um, but otherwise, the details look great on this. So all in all, I mean, they, they really do seem to have improved their design. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at something else that was printed on their old material 
and uh, we can kind of do a little bit of a comparison. Okay, so I've got a Benchy here. This was printed on their old material. This color is not nearly as nice, obviously. Um, they're labeled as the same color, but obviously these two things are not the same color. But that's fine. Um, you can see this one. The layer lines are a lot more visible. Um, I had to tune this one way down in the settings of temperature uh, to even get it to print, whereas all the rest of this stuff was printed at my standard PLA temps. Um, this one just, it doesn't look as nice. I mean, you can see here, look at the difference in the layer lines. I mean, it just looks so much nicer now. So let's go ahead and get some final thoughts on PX Melian's new formula. So what do I think about the new PX Melian formula? Um, I think it's good. They've obviously taken what myself and a few other folks have said and have taken that and turned it into something that can produce really nice models. So all in all, um, before I said this was a bust filament. It wasn't a real budget because it couldn't produce something decent. I've got to change that opinion now. This one is a budget filament. It's printing beautifully. Uh, it's printed everything I've thrown at it. And uh, it's good stuff. So if you guys are liking this material, click the subscribe button down below. Um, you can also uh, follow me on Twitter. I'll throw that up right here. Uh, otherwise, I'm Jason. This is the 3D Printing Corner, and, uh, you know, everybody uh, have a good day.